Well, a key test for Liz Truss as Prime Minister, of course, is going to be whether she goes soft when it comes to dealing with the EU. Michelle Barnier has popped up uh, recently this week saying that EU must not back down when it comes to the Northern Ireland Protocol. And we know that prior to winning the Conservative leadership contest, there was talk that Truss could trigger Article 16 within days of becoming PM. Uh, clearly, that hasn't happened. What I think is interesting, though, is when you look at the new Minister of State for Northern Ireland and Steve Baker, you've actually got a Brexiteer there who was saying that we should trigger Article 16 back in March quoted at the time as saying we must now save the Belfast agreement and restore power sharing by doing what is necessary to bring Northern Ireland back into the UK single market. That means using the Article 16 safeguards, he said, immediately before the Stormont elections. And that's now the Minister of State for Northern Ireland, Steve Baker. But it seems that Brussels are counting on trust at going soft on this. You see that Brussels believe a deal will be struck, that trust will be keen to broker a deal uh, with the EU. Of course, the new Northern Ireland Secretary is Chris Heaton-Harris, another Brexiteer, and he's been quoted as saying, I understand that the Northern Ireland Protocol is causing real problems and that we must find a solution. I believe this can be found through a negotiated settlement with the EU. But he said, if this is not possible, we will continue with our legislation to resolve the very serious issues with the Protocol. Of course, that refers to the Northern Ireland Protocol Bill, backed already by a big majority of MPs. The Remain-dominated laws, of course, have talked about trying to water it down, trying to tear it apart, trying to block it completely. So we wait to see. Will Truss uh, take on the Lords? Will she stand by the Protocol Bill? Or are we going to see some sort of deal done here uh, with the EU? Let me know what you want to see Truss do in the comments below, guys. Do subscribe to my newsletter. I'll put a link down below. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.